Hey, hi, hi, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do a video on an oil change. Yeah, I know there's a ton of videos out there on how to change your oil. However, I figured I haven't done one. Uh, there's a lot of subscribers on my channel that have actually asked for a how to on how to change the oil. So I'm actually going to use my friend Matt's 2023 ZL1 uh, Camaro to show you the oil change. It's the same for all sixth gen Camaros uh, that utilize the V8. So whether it's an SS, SS1 LE, LT1, uh, ZL1, ZL11 LE, all of them use either the LT1 or the LT4 engine and the process is the same. So enjoy the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, all of the items that I'm using, I'll have links in the description. If you use those links, to purchase the items, you support the channel, so I'd appreciate it. Thanks. All right, next we are going to change the oil. Um, I know there's a lot of oil change videos out there, but I figured, you know what, we're doing this whole prep, might as well get in there. Uh, there's a couple of things that I like to use to make changing the oil on your sixth gen Camaro a whole lot easier. One of them is an angled filler neck adapter. The other is a specific GM uh, funnel that locks in. I'll, uh, I'll show you that in a second. Many of you or a lot of you already use these. It's like a OEM tools or motive tools uh, designed to lock in to the uh, valve cover there and make your oil change a little easier. Well, that angle isn't really conducive to getting oil in real easy. So what I did is I purchased this OEM angle neck and uh, I believe it's off of one of the trucks, but basically this locks in and gives you a nice angle, makes it a whole lot easier for your oil in. You don't have to worry about spills and uh, it's fantastic. I'll show you where the drain plug is and we'll start dumping some oil out. All right, here we are under the car, uh, front of the car that way. As you can see, the oil drain plug is on the passenger side of the vehicle. It is a 15 millimeter head uh, on that drain plug. So we'll go ahead and crack the oil there. Your oil filter uh, is the AC Delco PF64. In fact, this is the OEM, the factory filter. It, it even has a little sticker that says replace with PF64, which is kind of cool. We've got it uh, vented up top. Obviously the oil cap is off at the fill point. So we'll get this cracked open, dump it all in there, and uh, we'll get this oil changed. All right, so now that we're under the car, and we found the drain plug right there. Again, 15 mil. We'll go ahead and crack that loose. Oh, that was pretty easy. Sometimes those can be extra tight. Uh, looks like that one is good to go. And there it goes. So we'll let that drain out, and while that is draining, I will uh, grab my oil filter wrench. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because a lot of times, these should only be hand tight. However, uh, these factory, or if you take it somewhere else to get the oil changed, we can, uh, they can, they can be put on way too tight. So. Letting that drain out. Go ahead and just kind of loosen that. I don't want to completely loosen it because I don't want the oil to start leaking down here. So we'll give it a second. We'll wait. 
and we will uh, move that drain pan over. And we'll take that filter off. All right, now that the oil is damn near out, I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain plug back in. And then we're gonna move the catch pan over and uh, start loosening the filter. Now the uh, drain plug uses, it's either 15 foot pounds or 18 foot pounds. I'll put the uh, appropriate amount of, uh, you know, the, the proper torque setting on there or good old German measurement of guten type. Before putting the new filter in, I do like to add a bit of oil to it, uh, make sure that it's not a dry start, although that's nearly impossible today with how much oil is still kind of left in the engine, but not a bad idea to do. And then uh, just, you know, using your finger, you can just get some oil onto the gasket itself, which uh, helps create a nice seal. Uh, and then and to put it back on, you want to make sure that the seal that was on the old filter isn't still there when you go to uh, when you go to put the new one on. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll leak oil everywhere. And, and again, this should be hand tight. You don't want anything crazy on here. Now you want it so tight that you can't get it loose the next time you go to change your oil. And I did confirm that the gasket came off of the old one. So just getting some extra grip in there. We're good to go. Ready to start pouring oil in from the top. Now that we have the oil plug the drain plug back in the new filter on we are going to go ahead and start putting the new engine oil in just so i can show you the oil dipstick is over here so we'll uh we'll check the oil uh after uh, we get this thing filled it does take 10 quarts of oil Now that we've got 10 quarts of oil in there, which seemingly took all year, we uh, checked the dipstick. What we're looking for here, if we, uh, if our oil fill is within that range right in here, then we're good. Pull it out and looks like we are Perfect. 